Alright guys, in this video I will basically be going over what you guys need to do in order to prepare for Madden 12 Ultimate Team. While I do this, I'll go ahead and show you guys my Madden 11 Ultimate Team as it stands right now. You'll notice that a lot of the collection reward players are missing from my team, but I've actually moved all of them over to a secondary account, along with a lot of other high gold cards. So first things first, I know I mentioned this in a past video, but what you guys want to work on to ensure that you have coins to start with once you get Madden 12 is the incentive program. Basically, for those of you that don't know, it's a program that they made where you will get rewarded for your accomplishments in Madden 11 Ultimate Team. I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can check it out. They have several different categories, I believe 14 or 15, along with different levels that you can reach. Most of these you can find out by checking the leaderboard section. I'll give you a few as an example. One is the collections completed. So to reach the lowest level tier, you need to at least complete a total of 10 collections. Then from there it goes in increments of 10 until you get to the top level tier which requires you to have a total of 75 collections complete. Some of these you'll really have no way of knowing like the total number of ultimate packs purchased. The top level tier on that one is 300 ultimate packs purchased which I know I'm well past that. One of the ones that you can see in the leaderboards is the total card value. The lowest being 100,000 and the highest being 5 million. The one I didn't discuss before was the total limited edition cards. Now you would think that these limited edition cards would be all the numbered cards, but actually the only two cards that are considered limited edition are the Golden Ticket, Colt McCoy, and Steve Johnson. So what me and a friend did a while ago was transfer Colt McCoy back and forth to each other 75 times in order to reach the top level tier in that category. Your total number of limited edition cards is counted by how many times those two cards show up on your account. So that's basically it with the incentives. Everything is pretty straightforward and again I will link that in the description. The next thing that you're going to want to do is to head to your local Target store to pick up one of these Doritos bags. It is the Target exclusive Maurice Jones Drew player pack. Technically you may not have to go and pick one up because I at first thought that all of the promo codes were different inside the sticker. But of the three that I already have, two of them are the same six digit number. All of the codes on the bag are the same code like last year. All they did was add these promo code stickers, I guess to make you think that each one was a different code. Right now they have the website up and running, but none of my codes work. So I'm assuming that you won't be able to redeem these until after the game release. All you should have to do is pick the system that you want, then enter in the bag code along with the promo code. And they should send you a code to your email that you can use to redeem at the PlayStation Store or Xbox Live that will unlock the pack. Once I make sure these codes work, I'll go ahead and post them in the description for you guys. But more than likely, I won't find out until the 30th. I have no idea who all you get with this code. It may end up being just Maurice Jones Drew and a couple stadium and coach cards. If you guys remember, they did this last year and each different bag entitled you to a different pack of cards. From my understanding, this will be the only bag that will allow you to get Doritos cards in which you can use for Madden Ultimate Team. They have the other bags, but all those codes do is allow you to pick a Prima strategy guide for your choice of team. I wanted to tell you all about this because last year they released these Doritos cards and no one had any clue that they would actually make these cards go into a collection. So if you didn't save them all year like I did in my pending collection, then you had no way of completing this collection because they ended up shutting the website down before they released the Doritos collection. They may or may not make that collection again this year. The cards were basically useless because they wouldn't allow you to extend the contracts on them and they were not auctionable. We will just have to wait and see if they change that this year. If you guys plan on getting big time involved in Madden 12 Ultimate Team this year, then I would highly suggest getting the Hall of Fame edition of the game. I know it's a little pricey at $90, but basically by getting this edition, you're already going to start out with somewhat of a stacked team. You get a pack with 13 former Madden cover athletes, and I'll list all of those in the description. Most, if not all of them, will be a 99 overall. If you don't want to spend the $90, then you can also order the regular version of the game from the EA Origins website, and you'll get a pack including Peyton Hillis, Adrian Peterson, Andre Johnson, Patrick Willis, Sam Bradford, and Mark Sanchez. I myself have decided to order the Hall of Fame edition from the EA Origins website 
because not only will I be getting the 13 former Madden cover athletes, but also the 6 player pack that they offer when ordering through their site. The only other place offering pre-order Madden Ultimate Team stuff would be GameStop. You have to be a Power Rewards member and they are giving you an Aaron Rodgers Ultimate Team card. I'll list the direct links to both sites so you guys can check both of them out if you haven't already pre-ordered the game. I'm not at all worried about the season ticket that EA is offering for $25 extra to allow you to play the game early. You will not be able to play Madden Ultimate Team with the season ticket. So if you bought that season ticket thinking that you were going to get a jump start on Madden Ultimate Team, it won't happen. The only benefit I see from getting the season ticket would be for the fact that you get 20% off purchase content throughout the year. So it would basically be like a constant promo that you would receive. My only question to this would be, let's say I bought that season ticket, would I get the 20% off plus the extra 25% if they would decide to do a pack promo one weekend? If so, then in that case it may be worth it, however I'm thinking that the 20% off is only towards the purchase of coins and the 20% off legendary packs, not 20% off the coin packs. So that's all I have as far as what you guys need to do in order to prepare for Madden 12 Ultimate Team. I'm not sure how involved in it I'll be this year. It really depends on how easy coins are available. Any collections that would become easy to do I'll be sure to let you guys know about. If they don't make a relatively easy collection to do that earns you a lot of coins like the rookie collections from this past year, I would see a lot of people get discouraged from the game. As soon as I get the game you guys will get to see firsthand what I get. I'll also be buying a few of the legendary packs just to see who you actually get in those packs. So if you guys are debating on whether or not to buy those packs, you'll at least get to see who I get if you wanted to wait. I have one more video coming out before my first Madden 12 video which I will discuss the things that I didn't like in Madden 11 Ultimate Team as well as improvements that they could make. Also, I have canceled my Madden 12 contest. I only received a total of 3 entries which required 10, so it's pretty pointless to do a video based on those 3 plays. That's not how I planned on doing it. So to those 3 guys that entered, you will each receive a gift card of some type just for entering. I haven't really decided what that will be. I will announce that in a future video. This is Infamous. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.